Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we have some exciting stuff to talk about. Why? Because especially for the end game players, now we will have some more content to progress towards and some more insane rewards to talk about. So stay tuned and let's, let's get started. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, probably I have a new intro, so if you guys want to give me some feedback on it, if you think it's, it adds to the quality of the videos, or uh, if it should be shorter or longer, just let me know. Besides that, uh, let's go, unfortunately I don't have a Forerunners account, so I can show you, but I managed to gather up some information and some uh, screenshots to help me explain and help you visualize what I'm talking about. Um, if any of you have a Forerunner account that I can borrow or a test server account, I will be immensely grateful for you. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you um, would like to um, maybe let me borrow it and do some content on it. Okay, getting back to the video, uh, what I wanted to talk about is actually a new gear rate that we are about to receive. So right now, as you can see, we have gear rate 1, 2 and 3 where, and we are about to receive a fourth one. So, as you can probably see on the screen right now, the fourth one is going to involve Volca and it's going to have some pretty interesting mechanics. The layout is interesting, I really like the dark uh, vampiric theme of it all and as far as I heard uh, as of right now from pe people that actually tried to clear it on, uh, on the test server uh, it is actually quite hard but uh, understandably so because it's going to reap some quite nice rewards so what rewards am I, am I talking about? let's talk about the rewards so as you can see on the screen the rewards are going to be a dungeon crystal uh, an unidentified weapon an unidentified bangle and the usual mythic uh, and ancient gear. So let's talk about what's more interesting here. So the dungeon crystal. What's the dungeon crystal? The mysterious crystal obtained in the gear in the gear dungeon. It can be used to redeem items in dungeon shop. So this is a nice interesting uh, currency that we can use to buy extra things and extra items in the shop. I'm going to show you the shop later on. So just think of this as a normal currency from a normal event that you can use to buy stuff in, a, in, a, in an event shop. Okay, let's move on to the next one, the unidentified weapon. So an, an, an unidentified weapon unearthed from the dungeon which can be transformed into variant gear with a special effect. So we can see here a variant gear. So what is this variant gear? So variant gear is actually gear that is even better than ancient gear, right? That sounds insane, but it's true. And this uh, this uh, variant gear, it, besides the more uh, probable uh, statistical value of having uh, uh, better stats in uh, in the rolls or rerolls, it also has an extra special effect. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you later on those special effects, uh, some examples of those special effects and some example of variant gear items. But uh, as of right now, let's move on towards with the extra information. It's unidentified bangle. So that means that we can also obtain bangles, variant bangles that can uh, help us improve our, our heroes and give us even better stats plus an extra special effect. So this variant gear is going to be awesome. This is what we are going to mainly farm for in gear 84. But uh, in order to do this gear rate 4, we also need some keys. I don't necessarily have a name for them yet. Um, I just have a small little picture that may probably I'm going to put it on the screen right now. But uh, basically, besides the normal stamina required to clear this stage, this stage is most probably be able will probably be able to be completed only for one week resetting uh, every once in a while as far as i know right now and uh, besides the normal stamina you'll need these extra keys to be able to access this uh, key rate for so what is variant gear so here are some uh, a few examples i'll put them on the screen uh, two by two so the first two are going to be variant mythic gear from the annihilate annihilating might set so as you can see it has the normal annihilating might um, um, two piece bonus 
which give us, gives us 35% extra crit damage, but it also has this Witch's Charm. So what is this Witch's Charm? This is the ex actual variant extra special effect. So what does it do? Dealing single target damage with basic attack has a 2% chance of transforming the target into a critter, making them unable to attack for 5 seconds. This effect doesn't apply to elites or bosses and can't and can be triggered up to one time every 20 seconds. So this is quite nice, right? This is extra bonus, a, a nice little extra bonus effect that's going to make clearing some um, some stages even uh, easier, right? So basically you can, if you guys, any of you guys have played World of Warcraft, you can basically polymorph a random monster that is uh, that is attacking. Uh, the other one is um, a variant mythic gear from the Wisdom set, right? And as you can see, we have our first crit damage, full crit damage roll, like it's maximum 44%, right? It's a red one, which is quite the first time I'm seeing one. So you can see the wisdom special the wisdom effect and the special effect which is different this time. It's called unrivaled power. This gear will have at least one random secondary attribute set to its maximum value. So you can actually make sense as to why this crit damage is full, right? Because this special effect from the variant gear um, actually boosted the probability of not the pro just the probability, it made it 100 percent probability for any of these stats over here to get to the maximum uh, so in the red value right so that's pretty insane because we can have gear like this one where crit damage is at maximum and that's insane right other two examples would be this uh, night terror um, variant bangle and the immortal warrior variant um, of all the left side gear right so what does the what uh, what do these provide so as you can see some pretty decent rolls overall for the bangle but the extra special effect is aggression so attack plus 300 i would assume i think fastidious talked about this in his video presenting this and said that uh, and I actually agree with him. He said that uh, it, this would be rather underwhelming if it's only after you place uh, the hero down. But honestly, I really think it's going to be before when the actual gear that you equip, equip on your uh, character is going to be improving your overall attack. So this is what I would hope they do. Um, all in all, it's going to provide, hopefully, extra 300 uh, base attack, which is quite, quite very powerful. And the um, variant mythic gear from the uh, Immortal Warrior set, the Immortal Warrior weapon, uh, has the same unri unrivaled power special effect that proved to be quite useful in the rage regen secondary step, right? So that's quite, uh, that's quite good. So. What else do we have? We have uh, the Infernal Roar Bangle. So this one has Waffle Optimism. Increases basic attributes by 5% if not a faction team member. So basically if you have, let's say you're not running, you're running uh, an Infernal Lord and um, Nightmare Roar Lord and you also added the, um, let's say Silas. And uh, Silas, since he's not part of any faction, it's going to benefit from this variant gear if he has the um, this uh, this infernal roar bangle variant bangle equipped right so this is quite good so far right this is amazing so how do we get these right and uh, what's happening with this well these are part of um, four right side gear sets new sets the more all set which is when the on the field all allies deal four percent bonus damage does not stack the unshaken will set the hell's lament set and the tempered will set for the right side uh, the right side gear and for the left side gear the wicked vengeance set and the light set um, I'm not quite sure, I would assume so, if this uh, variant gear can also be part of these new sets, but what I can tell you is that using um, some currency that you are going to be able to farm from this gear, you will be able to farm these new sets. So, first of all, before uh, actually talking about how we can farm the currency in order to get these new sets, let's talk about each and every set. So, the morale one. Uh, as you can see on the screen, and as I told you before, it's a 3-piece set. When on the field, all allies deal 4% uh, 
bonus damage it does not stack so does not stack it's pretty important here because we know that it's enough if we if we have only one hero equipped with this one it's going to be enough so maybe it's going to be a healer or um, a support type of character that's going to be similar in use as the invigoration set right so um, this one is going to be pretty cool right we all are going to benefit a lot from this one because it's four percent bonus damage for the entire uh, entire lineup that you're going to have so overall calculated out of the entire summary of um the damage that your lineup does add an extra four percent so that's quite good Unsha unshaken wheel unshaken wheel when deployed hp plus 20 percent when attacked when attacked, uh, recovers 5% of max HP, triggers up to one time every second, every three, five seconds. So, basically, a really, really, really good set for tanks, right? This is going to provide uh, a lot of sustain. It's going to be very, very good, I assume, for um, um, heroes that you use in Guild War. So, this is quite an amazing one. Hell's Lament. When the ultimate is triggered, increases damage by 30% and crit damage by 40%, lasting for 8 seconds. So this is already insane, like imagine this on a Silas or on an Arrogance, this is going to be great, so late game crit damage is mostly the most important stat, uh, assuming that you have your crit cap, um, and uh, the overall damage is being increased by 30%, it's a huge buff, and on top of it all, you also get crit damage increased by 40% so that's going to be amazing I can't wait to farm for this one and the last uh, new set from the temp from the right side gear is going to be tempered wheel so damage reduction plus 15% for each enemy blocked increases defense by 5% stacking up to four times so this is basically another uh, pretty good tanking set uh, if you want to build up a tank like let's say you want to build up a uh, broke gear again it's going to be pretty good with this set it's going to help the overall tanks but so far health lament seems to be one of the best um, dps set that out there if this is going to be implemented uh, as far for as, as far of um, as far for um, the left side gear um, the wicked vengeance set is going to provide crit damage plus 40 percent and attack plus 10 percent so basically if you think about this is just a calamity set combined with an annihil annihilation set uh, what more do you want this is actually quite amazing and light grace healing effect plus 30 and rage gen plus 10 percent this is basically a little bit of a healer set but in all honestly i don't think this is going to be best in slot for every healer I, um, this is this is highly um, contextual but still nonetheless a good set piece so how do we obtain this um, set pieces well with the addition of uh, gear 8 4 we also will be having some new tabs in the gear forging right so as you can probably see on the screen uh you can actually forge this new gear right you can uh, you can forge this new actual gear and as you can see in the picture it says forged and the pictures from the new sets are up there and dropped it's uh, the pictures from the um from the um, older gear sets right so i would assume that this answers my previous question so uh, the new gear you can only forge and the old gear can be dropped so i don't think this is uh, synergetical in a, in a way that uh, they can both be dropped and forged so as you can see we have the the drop details and from the raid and what you can forge so um using smoldering scale we can actually forge mythic gear so that's quite good because no long there is no longer um, an rng aspect sure there is a possibility of dropping more or less smoldering scales but there is also this type of um, 
certainty that no matter how unlucky you get into your key rate 4 traps, you're, also, you're almost always going to know that these, the smoldering scales alongside the um, uh, sanguine fabrics are going to be dropped and you're going to be able to forge a little bit. So this is quite good because with the smoldering scale you can already forge some mythic gear, mythic gear which is from the new sets that's, that are amazing and with the sanguine fabric you can um, forge the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the left side gear. So smoldering scale for the right side gear, sanguine fabric for the left side gear and these two currencies are dropped from the, um, from the raid. So, how do we obtain the variant gear? Besides the new gear sets, besides the old gear being dropped and stuff like that, how do we obtain these variant items that um, they are actually even better than ancient gear? So, basically this is going to be dropping exactly like uh, an ancient would normally in the gear rate 4 and after it drops you would go to the forge as you can see here into the gear identify tab and click on the item and click identify and after you click identify you're going to be met with a random weapon or um, um, whatever the item type is at and with a random um, special effect so um, that's pretty good news right this is quite interesting quite exciting what else there is to talk about the dungeon shop well as you can see on the screen you can actually buy the um, smoldering scales from the shop using 200 crystals that are dropping from the gear rate you can buy auto fight chances i would not buy these ones uh, i would focus mainly on the smoldering on the and on the ancient uh, bangles rings and stuff like that because as you can see down below at the bottom of the shop you will be able to buy these with crystals uh, and guarantee yourself an ancient piece which is quite amazing uh, and if I'm not mistaken uh, judging by the way they look and the they animate animate I think they are also there are also going to be some variant gear in, in there so this is amazing because Basically, we, if we would just farm and we use our resources, we save up a little bit of stamina and we have the keys, we are able to farm the resources no matter how lucky or unlucky we get with ancient pools and we can buy um, variant gear from the shop. That's amazing. So very excited for this uh, for, for this upcoming uh, gear rate 4. I can't wait to try it. Unfortunately, I do not have... Um, I do not have a test server account or a foreigners account uh, as I said if any of you guys are willing to borrow me one so I can create more content for you guys that would be amazing let me know in the comments below um, other than that uh, this is it let me know if you have some questions let me know if the screenshots that I made helped you out to visualize the information I gave you uh, it was quite a little bit of uh, a little bit time consuming to get everything done and uh, organize it um, I'm gonna be leaving you with this information I hope it was helpful let me know what you think in the comments below I respond to every single comment that I see thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one um, bye bye